Welcome everybody to this first episode on iQuity.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a um, movie of your molecule using Pymol. When I gave my last um, progress talk on a group meeting, I had for instance the following slide in Keynote, where I had this movie of a molecule, a natural product, which is rotating. It's pretty cool because it, it looks good, of course, and uh, it gives people an idea of the, the 3D structure of the molecule, its conformation and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to show you today how to make such a movie. And the first thing that you need um, is a program called Pymol. It's freeware for uh, Windows and Macintosh. And once you've downloaded the program and you've installed it, um, the next thing that you need is um, a PDB file of uh, your molecule, the molecule you want to make a movie of. You can either go to the protein data bank to retrieve a PDB file from of a certain molecule or enzyme or whatever, or you go to the Cambridge Crystallographic Database, you get a REST file, you convert it into a PDB file using Mercury. Maybe I'm going to talk about that in one of the next episodes. And then you eventually get a PDB file of your molecule. So I open this PDB file in Pymol and I get this, this, this um, program window. And the first thing that I want to do is to adjust the molecule um, for my movie. So I usually use white slides, but um, a lot of people like Phil Barron use um, slides with a black background. Uh, you can change the background um, for the movie uh, by just going to uh, display, background, and I choose white. Then of course the molecule looks a little bit ugly right now, so I change its appearance, I show sticks, I change the color because I usually don't like the green uh, carbons, um, I go to grays, and then in order to show the difference between carbon and uh, hetero atoms for instance you go to element and then this and then what you next do is to adjust the molecule the way you want to have it uh, in its initial position so that's the, the 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 thing that you need to do and then you type in the following commands Okay, now you're ready to make a movie. You just go to File, Save Movie as QuickTime, and then you can um, choose, I mean, you already chose video, and you can choose the frames per second. The more frames per second you choose, the faster the molecule rotates. Um, so I, I take 25 frames per second, I keyframe it every 24 frames, um, and then you can also adjust the quality. I usually take the best quality, and then you press OK. You s uh, save the movie to whatever destination you want to have and go to save. And now what you see is it starts ray tracing your molecule. Uh, that takes some time. I'm not gonna wait until it's finished. I've already done that before. Um, once this is done, you basically get a movie file. I've already prepared that right here. And you can open it in QuickTime and you can see your molecule rotating nicely um, and then you can open your presentation just drag and drop the movie in there place it wherever you want um, you can adjust the size oh, let's make it like this and then yeah once you've done that in your node, click on it, and there the molecule rotates. So I've done that in, in less than, I think, uh, a minute. It's pretty cool, and um, I think it's pretty useful. Um, so you see that that stuff is still running. Um, I hope um, this was helpful. If you have any further questions, feel free to write me an email at kudi 
at mac.com or leave a comment on iqd.com. I'm going to make more screencasts about Keynote, about cool features of Keynote, how you can improve your presentations and stuff like that. So see you soon and goodbye.